The modern system of Babylon is a religious political economic power. The book of Revelation describes a system of international spiritual darkness and confusion with tentacles that are far-reaching, even wrapping themselves around state economies. The term Babylon is derived from Babel and signifies confusion. It is employed in scripture designating the various forms of false or apostate religion. In Revelation 17, Babylon is represented as a woman, a figure which is used in the Bible as the symbol of a church, a virtuous woman representing the pure church, a vile woman an apostate church. Babylon is further declared to be that great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth, Revelation 17:18. The power that for so many centuries maintained despotic sway over the monarchs of Christendom is Rome. The purple and scarlet color, the gold and precious stones and pearls, vividly picture the magnificence and more than kingly pomp affected by the haughty sea of Rome. And no other power could be so truly declared drunken with the blood of the saints as that church which has so cruelly persecuted the followers of Christ. Babylon is also charged with the sin of unlawful connection with the kings of the earth. As we near the closing of world history, we can see that the kings of the earth are looking to the Holy See for a religious political alliance. U.S. President George W. Bush has described the Pope as one of the greatest moral leaders of our time. Many other U.S. presidents have made strong connections with the Vatican as diplomatic relations were forged in 1984 by President Ronald Reagan and Pope John Paul II. Prophecy is actually unfolding in front of our eyes. Who would have thought that a country founded on Protestantism would fraternize with the Vatican on such a level? Many of the Protestant churches are following Rome's example of iniquitous connection with the kings of the earth. The state churches, by their relation to secular governments and other denominations by seeking the favor of the world. And the term Babylon, confusion, may be appropriately applied to these bodies, all professing to derive their doctrines from the Bible, yet divided into almost innumerable sects with widely conflicting creeds and theories. The Roman Catholic Church is said to be the mother of harlots, by her daughters must be symbolized churches that cling to her doctrines and traditions, and follow her example of sacrificing the truth and the approval of God in order to form an unlawful alliance with the world. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. Revelation 17 verse 5. There are some Sunday-keeping churches today that call the Pope the Antichrist and expose all the infidelity of the papacy. Yet they keep her Sunday institution that is her mark of her self-proclaimed ecclesiastical authority. The fallen denominational churches are Babylon. Babylon has been fostering poisonous doctrines, the wine of error. This wine of error is made up of false doctrines, such as the natural immortality of the soul, the eternal torment of the wicked, the denial of the pre-existence of Christ prior to his birth in Bethlehem, and advocating and exalted the first day of the week above God's holy, sanctified day. Sunday keeping is a papal institution established by Roman Emperor Constantine in 321 AD. Christians kept the true Sabbath up until this time, but under fine, confiscation of property and under the sentence of death the fraudulent Sabbath was enacted. Still to this time many people think the seventh day of the week is Sunday when in fact it is Saturday. The Sabbath was founded in the creation, and God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because that in it he had rested from all his work which God created and made. Genesis 2-3 History from a biblical perspective indicates that the Ten Commandments, which included the Sabbath, were given to Israel after they were delivered out of bondage in Egypt. God's people had failed to remember the divine precepts due to slavery. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Exodus 28 Symbolism for the following scripture Wine represents false doctrine. Fornication represents unlawful relationship. A beast represents a kingdom, empire, 
political power or government. All nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. Revelation 18.3 Here we see the connection between the merchants of the earth and Babylon. In some way the Vatican has entangled themselves around the earth's finances, industry and commerce, and to a lesser extent the apostate Protestant churches who follow the papal institution of Sunday keeping have done the same. The Encyclopedia Judaica claims that the Rothschilds bear the title Guardians of the Vatican Treasury. We can only speculate how wealthy the Vatican truly is. Here are some interesting statements by Avro Manhattan. Some idea of the real estate and other forms of wealth controlled by the Catholic Church may be gathered by the remark of a member of the New York Catholic Conference, namely that his church probably ranks second only to the United States government in total annual purchase. Another statement, made by a nationally syndicated Catholic priest, perhaps is even more telling. The Catholic Church, he said, must be the biggest corporation in the United States. We have a branch office in every neighborhood. Our assets and real estate holdings must exceed those of Standard Oil, AT&T, and U.S. Steel combined, and their roster of dues-paying members must be second only to the tax rolls of the United States government. The Vatican has large investments with the Rothschilds of Britain, France and America, with the Hambro's Bank, with the Credit Suisse in London and Zurich. In the United States it has large investments with the Morgan Bank, the Chase Manhattan Bank, the First National Bank of New York, the Bankers Trust Company, and others. The Vatican has billions of shares in the most powerful international corporations such as Gulf Oil, Shell, General Motors, Bethlehem Steel, General Electric, International Business Machines, TWA, etc. The Catholic Church, once all her assets have been put together, is the most formidable stockbroker in the world. The Vatican, independently of each successive pope, has been increasingly orientated towards the U.S. The Wall Street Journal said that the Vatican's financial deals in the U.S. alone were so big that very often it sold or bought gold in lots of a million or more dollars at one time. The Roman Catholic Church is the most powerful organization on earth. Roman Catholic Church membership, both lay and clerical, in 2007 was estimated to be 1.147 billion people. The Vatican's vast intelligence service ensures both political and financial success, through its members who are obligated by sworn allegiance to the Pope. Often a conflict of interest arises between a Roman Catholic and whatever position he holds in state office, finance, industry. The Vatican is hell-bent on world domination, the Vatican has controlled the known world before and prophecy tells she will do it again. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wondered after the beast. Revelation 13.3 When Protestant churches shall unite with the secular power to sustain a false religion, for opposing which their ancestors endured the fiercest persecution, then will the papal Sabbath be enforced by the combined authority of church and state. There will be a national apostasy, which will end only in national ruin. There will be a time when the United States economy will collapse and the world will be plunged into economic chaos which will have the most severe social consequences. Go to now, ye rich men, Weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted, and your garments are moth-eaten. James 5 verse 1 to 2. Your gold and silver is cankered, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you, and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Ye have heaped treasure together for the last days. James 5 3 to 4. Here is the biblical illustration of the fall of Babylon, both religious and economic. God will bring judgment of the Vatican and economies will crumble. Standing afar off, off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city! For in one hour is thy judgment come, 
and the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth their merchandise any more. And the merchants of these things, which were made rich by her, shall stand afar off for the fear of her torment, weeping and wailing, and saying, Alas, alas, that great city, that was clothed in fine linen, and purple, and scarlet, and decked with gold, and precious stones, and pearls. For in one hour so great riches is come to naught, and every ship master, and all the company in ships, and sailors, and as many as trade by sea, stood afar off. Revelation 18.13, this verse tells us that in the last days there will be slaves who are bought and sold. Human trafficking is the illegal trade of human beings for the purposes of reproductive slavery, commercial sexual exploitation, forced labor, is a modern day form of slavery. The epidemic of modern slavery is the second largest criminal industry behind narcotics and before the illegal sales of weapons. Slavery is alive and well and there are many forms of slavery. The conveyance or trade of women, children and men from one area to another for the purposes of forcing them in conditions of slavery will increasing. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and is become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Revelation 18.2 And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth, and to every nation, and kindred, and tongue, and people, saying with a loud voice, Fear God, and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment is come, and worship him that made heaven, and earth, and the sea, and the fountains of waters. And there followed another angel, saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead, or in his hand, Revelation 14, 6-9. In Civita Catholica, house organ of the Jesuits, says quite frankly, fascism is the regime, regime that corresponds most closely to the concept of the Church of Rome. Fascism is fascinating, excuse the pun. Español, English, Deutsch. Normalmente produzco solo videos en inglés y español. Normally I produce only videos in English and Spanish. Normalerweise produciré ich nur videos en English and Spanish. Pero hoy voy a hacer otra excepción y traducirlo también en alemán. But today I make another exception and translate it into German too. Aber heute werde ich nochmal eine Ausnahme machen und es auch in Deutsch übersetzen. Ja, algunas semanas tengo escrito en mi lista de tareas por hacer de traducir el video hashtag BTC4. Now, already some weeks ago, I have written on my to-do list to translate the video BTC4, hashtag BTC4. Schon seit ein paar Wochen habe ich äh, auf meiner To-Do-Liste geschrieben, ähm, den Video BTC4 in Deutsch zu übersetzen. Estoy segura que esta idea puede ayudar a mucha gente económicamente. I'm sure that this can help many people economically. 
ich bin sicher, dass diese Idee vielen Leuten äh, finanziell helfen kann. Y da motivación para aprender Bitcoin. And give motivation to learn about Bitcoin. Und Motivation geben, um über Bitcoin zu lernen. En este momento el precio de Bitcoin es muy bajo, económico. At the moment, the price of Bitcoin is very low, economic. Im Moment ist der Preis von Bitcoin sehr tief. Sería el momento ideal para invertir. Hoy es el 15 de abril 2015. Would be the ideal moment to invest. Today is April 15th, 2015. Es wäre der ideale Moment zu investieren. Heute ist der 15. April 2015. El 27 de marzo 2015. He publicado en mi canal de YouTube Vanos Enigma el primer video sobre hashtag BTC4 explicando cómo me vino esta idea. On March 27th of 2015, um, I published my for the first video about hashtag BTC4 in my channel YouTube Vanos Enigma explaining how I got the idea. Am 27. März 2015 habe ich in meinem YouTube-Channel Vanos Enigma den ersten, den ersten Video über Hashtag BTC4 veröffentlicht und äh, erzählt, erklärt, wie ich diese Idee bekommen habe. La idea consiste principalmente en lo siguiente. The idea mainly consists in the following. Die idea besteht hauptsächlich en folgenden. folgenden. Imprimir en direcciones de Bitcoin en papel. Diez o mínimo diez o mejor cien. To print Bitcoin directions in paper, at least 10 or better 100. Bitcoin adressen in Papier ausdrucken, um, minimum 10 or besser gleich 100. Y luego poner en cada dirección de Bitcoin una pequeña cantidad de Bitcoin. And then put in every Bitcoin direction a little amount of Bitcoin. Und dann in jede Bitcoin Adresse eine kleine Summe von Bitcoin transferieren. Y la próxima vez, cuando otra vez ves una persona por la calle pidiendo dinero, and the next time uh, you see again a person begging for money on the street. Und das nächste Mal, wenn du wieder eine Person auf der Straße betteln siehst. Y para tus amigos y amigas. And for your friends, of course. Und für deine Freunde natürlich. O tal vez eh, de propina en un restaurante. O maybe a tip in a restaurant. O da trinkgeld en restaurant. Bueno, a la hora de imprimir también copiar y guardar las llaves privadas de Bitcoin.
the dirección es de Bitcoin. Or when you print the Bitcoin addresses, um, copy and save the private keys of the Bitcoin addresses, of course. Wenn man die Bitcoin Adressen druckt, auch die äh, auch die privaten Schlüssel, Bitcoin Address Schlüsseln ähm, kopieren und speichern. Y a la hora de distribuir las direcciones de Bitcoin, escribir la fecha, por ejemplo, hoy es el 15 de abril 2015, escribir la fecha, más plus cuatro años, eh, igual 15 de abril 2019. And then in the moment when you distribute uh, the Bitcoin addresses, you write the date, for example, today, April 15th, 2015, plus, plus four years uh, is April 15th, 2019. Und dann in dem Moment, wenn man die Bitcoin-Adressen verteilt, auf das Papier schreiben, das heutige Datum, zum Beispiel 15. April 2015, plus vier Jahre ist gleich 15.04.2019. Luego vas a explicar a la gente, mira, esta es la llave privada. Tú y yo la tengo, la tienes. Si no quitas, transfieres este dinero de Bitcoin eh, en estos cuatro años, yo lo vuelvo a tener. Tener o sacar. Then you explain to the people, look, this is the private key. I have it and you have it. If you don't take this money, Bitcoin, out of this account, I will take it out in this, um, in these four years, at the end of these four years. Und dann erklärst du den Leuten, schau, das ist der private Schlüssel. Um, ich und du haben diesen privaten Schlüssel, Bitcoin Schlüssel. Wenn du äh, bis Ende dieser vier Jahre das Geld Bitcoin nicht raustust, Transfer, äh, dann hole ich es zurück. De esta forma das más motivación a la gente para empezar a aprender cómo funciona Bitcoin. This way, you give more motivation to the people to learn how the technology of Bitcoin functions. Auf diese Weise gibst du mehr Motivation den Leuten zu lernen, wie die Technologie von Bitcoin funktioniert. In mi video antigen English, Espanol. Video mix number 25, video mix numero 25. This time I want to talk especially about hashtag JCCVW, which I created some time ago, abbreviation for Justice Court Comedy and Virtual Worlds. Esta vez quiero hablar especialmente sobre el tema hashtag JCCVW, que el hashtag que he creado hace algún tiempo so, que, eh, y es la abreviación por eh, justicia, Justice Court Comedy in Virtual Worlds, eh, justicia, comedia de justicia en mundos virtuales. I made already several videos about this hashtag. Uh, ya he hecho varios videos sobre este hashtag. But this time especially thinking 
of my last video number 24 uh, robot ethics pero esta vez especialmente pensando en mi último video uh, video mix número 24 robot ethics e ética de robots First, I want to mention uh, the episode of Simpsons Treehouse of Horror number 13. Primero quiero men mencionar el, el, epi el episodio de Simpsons número 13, Treehouse of Horror número 13. Just a side note, it's uh, astonishing uh, now many years and Spanish TV uh, and at lunchtime and in the evening they are still showing about half an hour or more of uh, Simpsons, many years now. Es asombroso. Um, ya muchos años que por el mediodía y también por la, por la noche enseñan por lo menos media hora de los Simpsons in uh, television Española. Did you hear of the term Simpsonology? Has oído de, del término Simpsonología? Oh, Simpson, Simpson, Simpsonology. Simpson, Simpsonology. Maybe I'll check out if it in Spanish. Simpsonología. Todavía no. Long story short, the moral of the this episode of The Simpsons, the animals have more ethics than humans. Resumiendo este episodio de Los Simpsons, uh, los animales tienen más ética que los humanos. Remember my last video number Video mix number 24, Robot Ethics, Cat Ethics. Recuerda mi uh, último video mix número 24, Robot Ethics, Ética de Robots and Cat Ethics, Ética de Gatos. And with a funny gif. GIF is abbreviation for Graphic Interchange Format. Y con un gracioso GIF. G-I-F. Maybe it's a little bit help helpful to compare robot ethics and cat ethics. Tal vez uh, ayuda a comparar un poco el ética de robots y ética de gatos. Once I said to my mom, uh, talking with this person is like uh, teaching teaching ethics to cats. Una vez he dicho a mi madre, mira, hablando con esa persona es como uh, enseñar ética a, a gatos. They just do what they want. Solo simp simplemente hacen lo que quieren. And the robots do what they are programmed to do. Y los robots hacen simplemente lo que están programados de hacer. The question is the responsibility. La cuestión es la responsabilidad. So in the end, you see, it's almost not controllable. Así que verás que al final no es controlable. But normal cats can never turn as evil as humans. Pero gatos normales nunca pueden volverse tan eh, malos, hacer cosas tan malas como los humanos. Perversion, perversión, opposite land, el país de justo todo al revés copyright copy prohibition 
El copyright es más bien no un derecho de copiar, sino una prohibición de copia, copiar. Law of intellectual property, la ley de la propiedad intelectual. Especially because I like to produce video mix, I got very angry about the legal system and the perverse law of intellectual property which inhibits innovation and freedom of expression. Especialmente porque me gusta producir video mix. Uh, me enfadé con el sistema legal, en especialmente el especialmente la ley de la propiedad intelectual que inhibe la innovación y la libertad de expresión. And if you continue to think about the legal system, uh, you get more and more doubts. Y si continúas de pensar sobre el sistema legal, vas a tener más y más dudas. But still, you have, I think it's important to have a place and to talk about ethics. Pero igualmente pienso que es importante de tener un lugar donde se hable sobre ética. That's the main motivation why I created hashtag JCCVW, Justice Card Comedy and Virtual Worlds. Es la motivación principal por la que creado el hashtag JCCVW, just, just this called Comedy in Virtual Worlds, Justicia, Comedia de Justicia en Mundos Virtuales. Even on my main Twitter account, Manos Enigma, the cover picture, uh, I've got written Justice, who has the right to judge? Who is without sin cast the first stone? Hasta en mi cuenta de Twitter principal, Vanos Enigma, tengo um, a cover, um, la imagen de cover, escrito justicia. ¿Quién tiene el derecho de juzgar? ¿Quién está sin pecado que tire la primera piedra? And it's astonishing how often the Simpsons show some kind of court comedies. Y es asombroso cuántas veces en los Simpsons enseñan algún tipo de comedias de juicios. I want to remember especially the lawsuit or court comedy of Homer Simpson when he sold his soul to the devil, Ned Flanders. Especialmente quiero recordar el juicio de Homer Simpson cuando vendió su alma al diablo, uh, Ned Flanders. In normal legal system, the question is always, is it legal or is it illegal? En el sistema legal, eh, normalmente la, la pregunta es, ¿es legal o es ilegal? But it's more important to ask, is it, is it ethical, is it right or is it wrong? Es más importante preguntar es está bien o mal es ético o es, no no es ético. Did you hear of the term jury nullification? Has oído de este término ahora no sé en español pero eh, uno tiene el derecho de decir que por ejemplo no culpable porque la ley es injusta. 
you have the right to say it's uh, not guilty because the law is not just injust. I want to remember especially the case of Ross Albrecht, Free Ross, hashtag Free Ross, Dread Pirate, Silk Road. Especialmente quiero recordar el juicio de Ross Albrecht, um, Silk Road, Bitcoin, and my profile picture of Innocent Crypto Kitty y mi imagen de perfil Innocent Crypto Kitty que quiere decir el, el gatito inocente de criptografía. But it's medical catnip. Pero es catnip medico. 30 years of jail for running a website which other people used for buying and selling catnip. 30 años de cárcel por hacer una página web que otras personas han usado para comprar y vender catnip. And I want to remember what uh, said Roger Ver, uh, Bitcoin Jesus. He said something like, uh, the war against drugs cause more harm than the drugs themselves. Y quiero recordar lo que dijo Roger Ver que es como el Bitcoin, el Jesús de Bitcoin, dijo algo como que la guerra contra las drogas causan más daño que las drogas mismas. Okay, let's go back to even if you would have want to have a person like ah and not just Roger Ware uh, the case of Charlie Schrin, another Bitcoiner, a very interesting case too, and one interview. Um, I made a video, um, very interesting comment of Andreas Antonopoulos in one episode of Let's Talk Bitcoin. I think it's the video mix number. Yes, I had just a look. It's video mix number 17. Justo he mirado es el video mix número 17 con Charlie Shrem. This comment I like too much, so I will paste it. Just paste it here. Este comentario me gusta demasiado, así que algunos minutos voy a pegar. Este momento. And, uh, podcast can agree to the fact that whatever we have in this country that passes for a justice system has at least three tiers. There are, you know, uh, people at the top who get infinite, infinite forgiveness for some of the most disgusting mega crimes and never face the tiniest consequence for their actions. You can put a million people out of their homes with fraudulent foreclosures. And you'll never see the inside of a courtroom. You can rig markets, steal money from investors, defraud millions of people. You'll never see the inside of a courtroom. And yet... There's the other side of the scale where you have a situation of zero tolerance, where the slightest infraction, selling a loose cigarette for 30 cents, gets you a street side arrest judgment and execution by strangulation, where jaywalking gets you shot by a cop, even if you're unarmed, and where cities run effectively debtors' prisons where they rotate people through there for traffic fines and keep accumulating them until they end up in jail. 
for violating subpoenas and things like that and run it as a for-profit enterprise. And then in the middle is the middle class caught in this justice system, this thin layer that's getting thinner all the time because they're getting squeezed from the bottom. And the middle class sees the top of this country getting away with uh, mega crimes and sees a wave of zero tolerance coming at them that used to only affect minorities, but now is increasingly taking bites out of the middle class. And they're struggling desperately not to fall into this Orwellian zero tolerance justice system. That's not justice. I think everyone on this call probably has a similar perspective to this, but effectively what we're talking about is an erosion of the rule of law. And the most fundamental concept of the rule of law is equality in judgment. If a law exists, there is one tier. Everybody faces the same consequences for breaking that law. And that fundamental social compact has been violated. And for some stratum of the society, it never really existed. You know, some people were always going to feel the heavy boot of law um, with no recourse and um, suffered under that for 200 years. Uh, but now that is increasingly becoming the vast majority of the population. So you live in a society where the slightest mistake is very harshly punished. That's if you survive the police encounter. Um, while you watch a country's so-called elite just roll from scandal to scandal, from crime to crime, with no one going to jail. War crimes, no jail time. Bank fraud, no jail time. All of these things, you know, surveillance and violating the constitutional rights of millions of people, not even a misdemeanor issue. It just gets legalized after the fact. Lying to Congress, no problem. And then Preet can promote his resume by going after Charlie. It's really a disgusting situation, but I think it's, it's a situation that has nothing to do with Bitcoin per se. It's just a universal collapse of justice and the rule of law in this country. One of the few countries that actually had it. As that was so well said, I have no response to it. I, I completely agree with Andreas, everything he just said. It's 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 not limited to, to Bitcoin. It's a, it's an overall you see it you see it with everything. I mean look at the case of Aaron Schwartz. May he rest in peace, but once they have their sights on you, telling it's you per se, I think it's what you represent or who you are. Um, there's no getting out of those sites. And the higher up you are, the harder it is for them to prosecute you. It just doesn't make sense for them. Our justice system has been corrupted or skewed to, to, to what it is today. And I created a hashtag, let's talk justice, or maybe a better hashtag, let's talk ethics. Y también he creado ese hashtag, uh, vamos a hablar sobre justicia, let's talk uh, justice, pero tal vez mejor, uh, let's talk ethics, uh, vamos a hablar sobre ética. After this part of video mix number 17, I will paste a short video comparison of the two uh, websites of Wikipedia about this episode of Simpson Treehouse of Horror number 13. Y después de esa parte del video mix número 17 voy a pegar un pequeño video en una comparación entre las dos páginas de Wikipedia en inglés, en español, 
I forgot to say in English, in comparison between English and Spanish of the episode of The Simpsons Treehouse of Horror, no, eh, perdón, español ahora, eh, comparación del episodio de Simpson Treehouse of Horror número 13. Comparing hashtag JCCVW to uh, the real legal system, of course, there is no such thing like judgment, rather a uh, fiction punishment. Comparando JCCVW, uh, comparándolo con el sistema legal, uh, por supuesto no hay tal cosa como un, una sentencia de juicio, más bien un, un castigo ficticio. Just want to remember you, I have that uh, Twitter account Soul Trade Game in virtual worlds like Second Life with, with Virtual Guide Dog. Uh, recordar que tengo la cuenta en Twitter que se llama Soul Trade Game, traducido Juego de Negocios de Almas. Es como un juego en mundos virtuales como Second Life. Especially interesting for cats and blind people. Especialmente interesante para gatos y personas que estén ciegos o tengan problemas con los ojos. O people blind o people who have problems with the eyes. The bra. Anyway, watch my videos about Soul Trade Game. De toda forma, mirad mis videos sobre Soul Trade Game, juego de negocio de almas. And I have that Twitter account, Soul, uh, sorry, Soul Confiscator Catch. Y tengo este, esta cuenta de Twitter, Soul Confiscator Cat. You are welcome on all of my Twitter accounts. Normally I follow back. Estáis bienvenidos en todas mis cuentas de Twitter. Normalmente sigo de vuelta. So you see I have a double or triple interest to open hashtag JCCVW. Así que... Veis que tengo un doble o triple interés de abrir el hashtag JCCVW Justice Club Comedy in Virtual Worlds. Uh, what I wanted to say before about the jury nullification. Uh, if you really would like to, to um, participate in a trial lawsuit uh, to help uh, somebody from getting declared guilty fast. You have to take vacation. You have to buy a flight to New York. And I think this trial was in January of um, Free Ross Ross Albrecht, um, Silk Road. So, bueno, lo que iba a decir antes uh, con respecto al derecho de uh, renalification en español, no me acuerdo, no estoy segura, pero que tienes el derecho de decir que mira, yo estoy, uh, no estoy de acuerdo que esta persona sea declarada culpable. Oh, así que primero tendrías que tomar vacaciones, comprar un vuelo a Nueva York y eh, era ese juicio me parece era en, en enero cuando hizo un montón de frío. So comparing this legal system with uh, 
Hashtag JCCVW. This is in, in, in virtual worlds. Everybody can participate and talk about ethics, right or wrong. Don't need to buy a flight to New York. Uh, comparando ahí con el sistema legal. No, eso tiene que tiene lugar en mundos virtuales, no hay que comprar un vuelo a Nueva York y tanto, tanto esfuerzo para participar en un juicio, discutir sobre ética. Puedes fácilmente participar de cualquier lugar, ordenador, P2P, and especially talking about robot ethics, this will be very important in the future. Y especialmente el tema de ética de robots en el futuro será muy importante. Because it's easy to say the person who programmed the robot is responsible for the actions, but uh, it's very easy to uh, to hide the identity who programmed the robot. Es muy fácil decir que la persona que ha programado el robot es responsable por las acciones del robot, pero es muy fácil de ocultar la identidad de la persona que ha programado el robot. So now I'll paste the, these two videos. Así que ahora voy a pegar estos dos videos.